Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Orsha campaign in Steel Division 2. Today we are going to be hopefully destroying the heavy tank destroyer battalion. We routed them in the last episode now we just need to attack them again. I would go for the encirclement but we don't really have enough movement to get around them. We're also blocked down here and uh, these units are way too far away so yeah what we're going to do is just go for this attack uh, we they will be reinforced by the 260th artillery regiment and the mixed aa battalion i can't do anything about that because the bombers can't get involved due to the aa net and i don't think we have any artillery in range uh, maybe these guys are Ooh, maybe I mean, we can definitely bomb those guys or bombard those guys. Right, let's just go for that. That's fine. Oh, I think they might be just out of range, actually. Yeah, they are. That's sad. So, yeah, we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, where we just uh, destroy those manually. So, it's going to require, I think, mostly infantry. Uh, they've got artillery and they've got... A lot of 88s and 20 mils. I mean, these 20 mils and the flag fillings are actually going to be pretty scary. Um, hmm. Might actually be worth bringing in some big guns. What's the penetration like on these 160? I think they can get through any tanks that we have here. Actually, maybe not the IS. Pretty risky, though. Hmm. We could bring in the IS. I think we're going to do that. We're going to bring in the IS, and then we're going to bring in probably just a normal guards rifle regiment and we're going to have to scout this out with recon for the most part I think and actually take it quite slow and I might also bring in some fighters just in case because uh, I think the regiments that I'm using are just out of range actually maybe not uh, maybe they're covered by the AAA although we're attacking this unit so that's not covered by the AA uh, whatever, we'll bring them anyway. They can still be useful for strafing. Jump into the battle. Okay, so it's just a matter of, like, I think having snipers down for the most part. Although I probably don't want to use snipers. Do I have any other ones? No, it's just all snipers. I'm actually just going to have them deployed from the start. Because they can deploy here, right? So. I don't want to really risk it. Like, they might get killed in their jeeps if I just leave it be. Which would be rather annoying. So, we'll just have these. And I'm attack move up. I don't think they'll have much recon themselves. So... I might be able to keep these hidden if I put them on return fire. And then what we're going to do is have some of this armor coming in, so... And uh, they can provide fire support if we see anything. Just have uh, that group move to there. And this group move to here. Or up there even, that's fine. Uh, maybe get some infantry to run forwards as well, although, hmm, actually that could be a way to do it. We could do the, the wall of infantry strategy. Yeah, that could work. I'll just use the standard Gavardia. Because they will spot stuff as well. Just uh, give the targets of their spawns. And then if we get to the spawns, uh, we just stop them in their tracks. Okay, lovely. All right, let's actually just start the battle. And we'll start speeding it up. Oh, there's a unit there. Not sure what that is. It is a 20 mil. Hey, hey. 
Oh, there's also a 20 mil there as well. They put them really far up. Don't we see the 88 up on the hill there? We'll probably engage the 88 head on with an IS. That's not too bad. Right, that one's been destroyed on that side. On this side, we can't see it anymore. I do have to be very careful, actually, because if I get side shot, I'm not going to be happy. If I lose an IS to any of these, I'm not going to be happy at all. All right, let's just bring up some more men. I'm actually going to bring some Avtos that can push through here and kill that 20 mil. All right, we're under fire. I think I'm actually going to Cobra strafe that. Otherwise, these Gavardia are dead. <laughs> so, yeah, we may as well save them. I could maybe uh, strafe this one once it gets pinned. Although there is the 20 more on that side. Uh, this could be risky. Could be too risky. Uh, we'll just try and keep eyes on it. Oh, there's another one there as well. Yeah, there's actually three 88s on that side. Right, so the reason I have them all out of their vehicles is because if the 88s do fire at them, then it doesn't matter because they would only do like one damage a hit if they hit. I do have any take out these 88s. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is uh, buy in a bunch more ISs here. And we'll just use them to head on those 88s. Oh no, my sniper's been spotted. Shit. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Bummer. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Hmm. Right, uh, let's be careful with this engagement. I might be able to make it work. If we're at max range when we're engaging the ATA, that's fine. I can probably strafe those units on the right if there's not too many of them, but there is going to be a lot of AA. Uh, let's just allow that to pin that down. Alright, here we go. Oh shit. That's not good. There's more than I expected. <laughs> oh dear. Might actually lose one. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, this is interesting. My sniper is firing at that AD8. Let's just get that into cover. Another sniper gone. Now <laughs> look at all of these tanks. Any 88 shows themselves, they're so dead. So dead. Oh, that's a flak 20 mil to the face. That's that's sad times right there. Oh, look at the ISs. This is so cool. <laughs> that 88. This looks awesome. That is so cool. I wonder if I could just do this. I wonder if that would work. It seems like super risky, but... Oh well. I can't have my sniper move up there. I am going to have to try and look after my snipers here. Because uh, I feel like they're all going to die otherwise. This is uh, turning out to be a bit harder than I actually expected. I guess the 88s do hurt. Once all the 88s are gone though, we're fine. 
like pretty much. Uh, let's see. Move that forwards. I'm gonna need a couple more infantry to come help us out. And we killed a flak 20 more over here. That's good. Let's uh, keep moving through this town. I think most of my tanks have come in on the left side now, but I'm going to have a couple more move up on this side. Ooh, that's risky. That is risky. Hello. Hello, 88. Hopefully my ASC is coming up here will do the job. <laughs> We're firing at the wrong one. We might actually lose an IS2. Yeah, well, we lost that one. But that wasn't quite the intention. Alright. Well, this is one way of doing it, at least. <laughs> Just plow down the middle. <laughs> What about on this side? Uh, these guys are nearly dead. Move them back. These guys are nearly dead. Move them back. Oh shit. Let's keep them in the building. My avatar's got wrecked. I mean, maybe I can just push through here now. We'll find out. This is a brutal attack. Like these 88s, man, they're really, really difficult to take care of. Let's see if the AA is still good on this side. I don't think it is. If it's not, then we can just strafe these guys. Oh, there is, of course, the, uh, the 88 there. Oh, yeah, there's quite a lot. Well, we pinned them down, so that's okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Making a push through the center. I might have to unload some of these. Uh, yeah, that's a 20 mil. Hmm. Well, there goes a Cavardia squad as well. Another 88 over there opening up on us. Uh, that one needs to fall back. That is very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. There's some more Kavada in here. Maybe I should have brought like the SU-76s so we could have like RT'd some of these units, but at the same time the tanks kind of do the same job. Yes, the 88s are threatening towards my IS-2s, but they've only killed one so far, so... I think it's still a better idea to use the tanks in this case. We're nearly going to win anyway. And we only need to win in order to destroy the uh, routed regiments. Which is the whole idea of this attack. May as well throw some bodies at the enemy. We haven't really been doing it too much throughout this campaign so far. Not in true Soviet style, at least. We've had a couple marches of doom, but they haven't really ended up too bad off. Right, let's just uh, make sure we're attacking this AT-8. Alright, cool. That's 14 to 10. Minor defeat in uh, six minutes for them. Let's just attack that, please. Right, 
that's 15. Just keep pushing forwards here. That's transmission destroyed, so it can't fight. It can't move forwards, at least. Uh, get my sniper to the edge. It's okay. I uh, did lose a truck here somewhere. All right, well, we're going to unload these, and I'm just going to have them run up there. I got five minutes, it should be fine. Right, let's keep moving those guys forwards. Those guys need to go up the hill. We lose the Gavalier on this right side. What even killed those, I wonder? Probably an AA piece that I didn't see, like a flak or something. They get caught in the open, they just die. As simple as that. Yeah, another 20 mil there, taking out another Gavadi unit. And the Gavadi are kind of just spotting the other units for us, and then my asses can just finish them off. Yeah, another Gavadi down. Didn't manage to get the IS-2s into position in time. Sorry. Well, it's uh, currently 16 to 8. I'm hoping that we can push a couple more. I yeah, only lost one IS, so that's fine. For the amount of 88s that they had, that's actually pretty good. I've actually run out of HE ammunition on this IS-2-1943. Alright, that's that dead. That's the flag under our control. That flag's under our control. This one should be. Hopefully that goes major defeat. Yep, nice. Very good. Uh, we are being hit by AA we can't see over here. Get our infantry over. Oh, we lost that point. Okay, well. That's okay. Gonna have these move to the right hand side. Uh, let's uh, move those back. Well, that's another 88. Alright. My sniper was killed on the left hand side. I just strafe that one. Honestly. Spread them out a little bit so they don't all get hit by the same shot. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, oh my, terrible idea, there is so much AA on that left side, <laughs> I thought, oh, it's just a one lonely 88, that is, that was, that was terrible, <laughs> two of my, two of my Cobras getting taken out there, that's, uh, that's sad. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess we just keep driving through. Maybe I can put some pressure on. Uh, these 20 mils start opening up on those Savtos. They're very dead. It's just been a costly attack, but at this point in the campaign, I actually don't really care too much. Not that much of a problem. Uh, maybe I can push 20. I don't know if that'll go total defeat. Nah, it doesn't really make a difference. I think maybe 22 would be would be the number. I don't know. Five seconds left. We're gonna have quite a lot of losses. They're gonna have even more though. 15 minutes, 48 seconds, 52 kills, 36 losses. Yeah. So what did we lose? We lost those two planes, which really sucks at the end. Uh, I managed to keep those alive. Otherwise, we actually lost two no um, IS2s. Okay. Well, we lost two. Uh, the rest is just infantry, which I don't really care about. So, that's all right. Uh, actually, we can attack this routed battalion as well. I don't think those ones can join in A, so... 
Yeah, if we take these guys for a spin, that might actually work. I am going to bring some fighters just in case they can reinforce. I'm just bringing this 274th fighter regiment. And I might pull one of these through. Uh, let's see. I could probably pull these guys through. Let's just do a tactical battle there. Yeah, we're going to have to play this one out. Alright, that's fine. Well, I'm glad I brought the extra planes then, because we're not going to have any extra units until phase B. Hmm. It's probably just going to be the, the tanks, right, pushing forwards. Oh, it's quite a big map. Can we even cover this map? I don't even know if we can. Uh, maybe just... Uh, there aren't too many units that we've got to deal with. I can be relatively conservative in places, but yeah, I just need to have a, a T-34 push forwards in each location. Uh, let's just go across the open there, and then this one can go up on the hill. I do have all of the armored cars as well, don't I? Yeah, so we can just bring those in to push across. And uh, what they can do is just support those pushes and provide us with recon information for our aircraft. Cool. All right, let's just launch the battle. Uh, get ourselves some fighters. Well, they're saying that the Yaks aren't actually that good at strafing. Oh, hello. We can definitely strafe the Opal Blitz, although they've unloaded, so maybe not. Oh, there is the MG there as well. Yeah, we're not going to be very effective at actually attacking those, I don't think. I'm just going to have to wait till phase B and then uh, bring in all of the infantry that can push all the way up. Imagine being that four unit that ran up that hill straight into the front of a T-34. Ouch. Alright, the front line's pushing forwards, I think, because we took out the MG there. I'm going to have these start marching forwards a little bit. I'll probably march forwards on this side if we're not spotting anything, so that's all good. And if we have the armoured cars go first, uh, we can just see if there's anything there, and then uh, if there isn't, then the flamethrower squads can just move up. Getting there. Now we found that radio unit, so that's fine. Once they're dead, we can 
push up onto the hill. There's a unit here somewhere that I just can't see. There's also one probably here. Ah, oh, there they are. Found them. Let's go ahead and strafe them. And hopefully we can just surrender them quickly. Oh, hello, 105 melt. A couple Yak 90s to go deal with those. I'm going to go find out what's down in this area. Because we're almost there. Let's just get out of line of sight of that artillery gun. Because that can do quite a lot of damage if it hits us directly. Especially against the B810Ms. Right, there's an Alfkrader there, we can run that down with the motorcycle. One thing that the uh, motorcycles are good for at least is running down Alfkrader. <laughs> if they can hit. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's the unit I was looking for. The battery fielder. I don't think they have machine guns, so they can't attack my motorcycle. Right, let's go see what happened, because I think we managed to pin them there. If not, I can just strafe them. Now they're dead. Alright, total defeat in two minutes. Just killing all the transports as they come in. Oh, another unit we can kill. Ah, that's dead. And that's victory. Okay. Eight minutes and twenty seconds. Let's see if we destroy any more regiments here. We're very close to Tartian. We're so close. So close now. Just got to keep pushing through. We made it. I think we made it. We pushed them out of the way. They're routed on both sides. I think we could just move a unit straight up to the uh, capture point. Breaking through the German defenses, the Soviets raced toward Minsk, left virtually undefended. Bravo. <laughs> Breaking through German defences, the Soviets raced towards Minsk, left virtually undefended. Yep, yeah. well, we certainly encircled a lot of the units, but that is the campaign complete. All of these units routed either side. We've got all of these units coming in for the encirclement here. This would just be another encirclement. Uh, then we have, obviously, this encirclement. So, <laughs> yep, that's great. I had a lot of fun with that. Historical outcome, although the 78th Sturm Division repelled all Soviet assaults for two whole days, the 256th Infantry Division on its left flank quickly broke under pressure, opening a gap in the German lines. Quickly adapting to the situation, the Soviets pushed the 2nd Guards Tank Corps into the breach, bypassing the determined... What's that? 250... 207th Corps? Is that what it is? If I get my Roman numerals correct. 
and trapping the 78th Sturm Division in Orsha. Tolichin fell to the Red Army late on June 26th, while German pockets of resistance were still fighting desperately in Orsha. Awesome. Well, there we go. So, in reality, I'm guessing they kind of just came round like so and across here and just encircled this lot. Operation status, major victory. Very good. Uh, units destroyed. We destroyed 20,933 points worth of units. And they destroyed 2,543. That's uh, quite an overwhelming victory. Grand total points, we are uh, three to one. <laughs> more or less go for controlling territory over time so I guess the faster you do it the better it is I don't know what the victory ratio is here or maybe because of any draws we had or did we have any minor victories or minor defeats I don't know anyway that's uh, pretty good pretty good Four to one would be total victory. And that's your lot. That is the end of the Orsha campaign in Stir Division 2. Next up, we'll be going towards the Berezina campaign. So I look forward to that on the channel. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.